King George Six Way is one of the roads around Parliament that will be closed to traffic starting tomorrow as members of the 11th Parliament take their oath of office. Other inlets to Parliament Avenue that will be closed include Syed Barry Road, Kimathi Avenue and the route of UBC roundabout. It is just a little inconvenience to allow smooth flow of traffic. That's why we come up with guidelines to guide the nation on what is expected on that day so that they plan if I'm to use this road, probably if it is too busy, then I'm expected to use another road. We just expect the MPs who are coming in to follow the SOPs and guidelines as provided to them. And in here for the four days, it will be a hive of activities. This is the waiting area. Each MP elect has been allocated three accompanying people. Now, he or she will be called from that tent to this podium over here that's being set up to take his or her oath. And then from there, he or she will wait for the first sitting of the 11th parliament that will take place at Kololo Airstrip, in which the Speaker of Parliament and the Deputy will be elected. We are starting with Honorable Jessica Abibaku as the first one, and they are arranged according to alphabetical order from A to Z. So each of the days, we expect 100, that around 132 MPs. And by the end of the four days, we'll have finalized the, the 529 MPs elect. The program is that we start at 8, have a break at, at 1.30 to 2 for the staff to have lunch, a, a lunch break, and then resume from, from 2 to 6.30. So everybody's expected to be here in those times. We call upon M members of parliament elect to keep time so that we can ensure that they are sworn in during their slot. On Monday next week, the Chief Justice is slated to preside over the first sitting of the 11th Parliament and each of the MPs will have to present a COVID-19 test certificate. We request them to be here by 8 o'clock in the morning, but they can be ferried to Kololo, but that is on Monday next week. After the, the Speaker is elected, she or he will sit, take a seat and preside over the election of the Deputy Speaker. Edward Mhumza, NTV.